I'm Karen Iban. Welcome back to Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. It's time for our weekly ATK segment with Cindy J. Lee. And today we talk about chart toppers, a new trend alert, and some amazing English covers. Welcome, Cindy. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for being here, as always, making the time. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Now, there's some great chart toppers this week, some that I haven't even heard of, so tell me more. Okay, so I'll talk about the top three. Uh -huh. um, Zion T and Crush. So they came out with a song called Just. Mm -hmm. Just. Just. <laughs> so um, the song's about one sided love nice. and a breakup. So it's a really sad song. So no surprise, it's doing really, really well on the charts. Multiple charts. Right. All kill status. Oh, nice. Yes. All kill status. I like that. <laughs> Also, Da Vici. Right? Yeah, Da Vici's back. Uh, well, actually, uh, they remain in the top spot with their song Cry Again. And the more I look at it, the, the music video, and the more I listen to it, it's just really sad. <laughs> you know, I, I was watching my, um, the music video, and then I have a mirror at my desk uh -huh. just to make sure no one snoots up on me. You know, it's like a spy mirror. Yeah. And then I was like, I accidentally caught my face watching the music video, and it was like, Getting a little teary Yeah, eyes. because it's just so sad. I mean, yeah. you know, you can feel it. I mean, anyone who's been in love or um, has had a one-sided love thing going on, you know, you can relate to it. You know what I mean? When yeah. you're so in love with someone yeah. and then that other person doesn't feel the same way, it's just heartbreaking. <laughs> Null. Am I saying that right? Yes, Null. 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 So um, he's from Brown Eyed Soul, and he came out with a solo album. And um, his song, You From The Same Time, is doing great on the charts. And um, again, it's a sad song, but you know, it's winter, yeah. it's cold. <laughs> it's perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, I suppose so. Yeah, um, love songs, sad love songs are always big in Korea, so those are the chart toppers. Okay, and then from chart toppers to some amazing English covers, right? Tell me more. Yes, so um, Soompi.com released of the top most amazing English covers by K-pop stars. Right. When K-pop stars do covers, like English covers, that's just a great way to introduce their voice to right. the American community or the global community because when you're listening to them singing in Korean, you can't really relate to it, understand. When you hear them cover a song, you're like, oh, they have amazing voices. Right. And besides K-pop stars being you know, flashy and just pretty or whatever. Um, just uh, we, we tend to forget that they're actually really talented vocalists, right. and some more better than others. Um, but um, yeah, so I chose my top five out of the list, and I just want to share it with you. Yes. So um, yes, for V uh, from BTS, he covers Adele's "Someone Like You." Ooh. It's an amazing cover, uh -huh. and I, I love it when artists cover Adele because you know Adele's one of those singers that you know everyone can relate to. Never mind. Speaking of Adele, Lee Hai from YG Entertainment, you know, the girl that was in that singing competition, right. she also covered an Adele song, um, Rolling in the Deep. So um, Park Jimin, she was one of the contestants contestants in um, K-pop star and she won the right, competition. Right. So um, Ashton Kutcher originally tweeted, oh, this is an amazing um, singer from Korea. She's saying Adele's Rolling in the Deep and he yeah. tweeted about it and then she just exploded. So uh, that's a great example of how important it is for them you know, to do covers and just introduce themselves and then you get into their uh, Korean songs. Right. Um, also, Ailey, of course. Yeah. Ailey, she started doing YouTube YouTube videos, you mm -hmm. know, and she's American, so um, she covered obviously a lot of American songs. She covered Whitney Houston's "I Will Always Love You," mm -hmm. and um, wow, that was amazing. And I love it when she sings Whitney songs. Right. That's actually one of the first um, songs that I heard her sing, even before she became a K-pop star. So, yeah, and it's hard to sing a Whitney Houston it song. Is. You have to be really good to be able to pull it off. You know? Exactly. <laughs> What's that song? Um, I believe the children are future. Yeah, the greatest. Love yeah, 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 exactly. She covered that one, and uh -huh. that was when she was still a teenager, right. and it, it was with her little webcam. And I was like, "Oh my god, so someone needs to sign this girl," you know. And then years later, um, she, she's here a K-pop she star. Yeah. I mean, she can make a big here too. Right.
Tan from Girls Generation. Um, she's actually gonna come out with a solo career. I told you about this last oh, yeah. few weeks ago. Yeah, so um, Tan also did an amazing cover of Rihanna's Take a Bow. Right. And uh, that also exploded. Also, EXO's Open Arms by Journey, uh -huh. um, amazing job. Uh, again, EXO's in the news this year because, you know, from 12 members, 10, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so those are my top picks. Okay, nice. And then um, 4 Minute came out with a music video. Yes, uh, 4 Minute came out with a crazy music video. <laughs> That's what it's called, um, their song Crazy. Right. And remember last time I said um, they came out with a music video called Cold Rain, a song and music video, and it was so not like 4 Minute. Yeah. They were like in coats, like singing. Rain. And then like, that's not four minute. Come on, Hyun has in that group, and right. it's like crazy. Woo! Going on here? That's this is them. And then um, crazy is more like it. So okay. the fans are like, there you are, there you are. So yeah, they came out with um, a mini album as well as you know, crazy um, the music video. And um, you know, you'll definitely enjoy it. I mean, it's a dance, a crazy dance song, kind of hip hop y. Yeah, um, I like that. Exactly, and it's all in black and white. And then lastly, um, we have a new trend alert. Yeah, trend alert. I mean, I love um, the trends that Korean set. Right now, the loopy mango hat is huge. Are you a hat person? I'm not really a hat person. No, uh, I'm a hat person because uh, I have bad hair days a lot. So right. I just need to cover that all up and then, you know, try to look like chic, whatever, uh -huh. try to pull it off. But um, yeah, the loopy mango hat, the reason why it's so popular, it's kind of like the honey butter chip thing. Oh yeah. You know, like uh, all the celebrities are wearing it, all the celebrities, whatever they eat, wear, you know, becomes yeah. popular. So um, all the K-pop stars, like even for a minute, we we're just talking about them, they uh, pose with the loopy mango hat. Oh, And uh, it's really cute. It's like a thick knitted hat. Right. And then you know, it's, it's perfect now for Korea because it's super cold. I get a okay. call from my mom all the time, like, it's so cold here, my <laughs> knees are shaking. I'm like, come to LA, you know, we're shorts but um yeah you can send her a loopy hat <laughs> maybe maybe i can buy it for her but that's another thing it's 200 dollars wow. for a loopy mango hat but it's really cute okay it's cute and you can also buy a kit and make it yourself if you want for 98 bucks <laughs> but it's still you know if, if you're if you're willing to pay that right you know, definitely i'm gonna wait for it to go on sale yeah that's a good idea Me too. <laughs> and it doesn't get that cold here in yeah, California, but so if you're, i think cute, i'm good so. <laughs> but yeah. thank you so much Sophie. no problem <laughs> time for a quick break but don't go anywhere because we have more entertainment and lifestyle news after the break.